Did you know that in the US, if you submit a resume with a photo, some employers would just disregard it. Because in America, you cannot discriminate people based on their gender, appearance, age. So it's really uncommon to put your photo on a resume here. But if we're talking about the UK or Europe, if you do not put your photo on your resume, some employers wouldn't even notice you. And there are so many things like small cultural differences. And I'm sure there are a lot of things that you know about your country. So in this video, I'm gonna guide you through interviewing for a job in English. If you're interested, continue watching. And because I've conducted so many interviews, um, I was surprised that there are so many great professionals out there, but when they start interviewing, when they start answering my questions, they just lose it. And I know that they might be great at their job, but they're really bad at interviewing. So we decided to put a course together and this is my new course coming out very soon. This is a course that's gonna teach you real business English. You know what happens in life? When I was 18 years old, I saw this position at the British Embassy in Russia and I was like, oh my God, this is job of my dreams and I submitted my resume, but of course I didn't even get to the interview stage because I didn't know how to create a proper resume. And these things, like these opportunities, they just come into your life without expectations. You're like, maybe you're not even looking for a job, but next week somebody posts an opening and you're like, oh my God, I really want to work there. But you don't have this knowledge on how to pass the interview, how to create a resume. So with this course, you'll be prepared for those opportunities in your life. And I'm gonna talk about the US uh, part. I'm gonna talk about resumes, how to present yourself. I'm gonna give you some vocabulary that's gonna help you. And I've also asked my friend from the UK uh, to help me with that. His name is Matt. He's actually a director at Oxford International, uh, one of our partner schools. He manages a lot of people. He hires a lot of people. And we also have a teacher, an ESL teacher, Rob, uh, who's gonna give you all the basics like grammar and stuff. It's gonna be a really informative course. Um, the link is below. I'm giving $20 off to everyone who's watching this video. So don't miss this opportunity. The discount is limited. The link is below. I will see you at the course. And by the way, if you're watching this later than July 1st, we're gonna launch this course every two or three months. So just check the link below for the next start date. Now, let's move on to the interview basics. So first of all, when you come to the interview, all of the employers know that you're nervous and their goal is to help you relax. And they're gonna ask you a very simple question. Tell me about yourself. Now, this is not a question where you should go into like, oh, I love dogs. My hobby is to travel. I just moved to this new place, blah, blah, blah. So this is not about your personal stuff. This is all about your professional stuff. And here I would talk about your job experience, about what you've done before, about why you're interested in this job and like all of the professional stuff. So basically Americans and uh, British people love small talks. Whenever you walk into a meeting, don't start with, you know, presenting your company or presenting yourself straight away. Ask something like, oh my God, this is an amazing office. How long have you been here? Or did you know it was so hot this weekend in San Francisco? Everyone was boiling. Uh, what did you do this weekend? Like something like this to start a conversation, get you into the right uh, tone. And also, you know, just start building the relationship um, with somebody who interviews you. Preparation is everything when it comes to an interview because um, I'm going to give you all the questions that like 99% chance you're going to be asked those questions. So it really helps if you prepare answers beforehand so that all of your like brain activity goes into answering questions that you haven't been prepared for and there would definitely be some of those questions. So the next question that people definitely ask is how did you hear about our opening? And um, just don't be caught off guard. I think about the answer. Think about it at home and practice it. Like always oh, researching this website or maybe my friend told me. Uh, and if it's like an internal uh, referral, this works really well. The next question is what attracted you to our company? And I've had so many situations in my life when I was asking people like, what do you know about LinguaTrip? And people would be like, oh, you have like five co-founders and you're guys based out of what, Germany? And I'm like, oh, okay, so he doesn't really know the basics about our company. And this is something that we're really proud of. This is something that I blog about. This is something that we talk about a lot in the press. And it's the same for any other company. 
There is company's history, there are notable clients and uh, notable events that they've taken part in. So you have to be aware, you have to really show that you're interested in the position. And um, when you're asked what attracted you to our company, you can say, I love your mission. I love how you help people learn languages. Or I love your story, guys, how you started with the small startup, uh, survived on like $100 and now you have built. I'm, I'm talking about like not just us, but I'm talking about a lot of companies have the same history, like mention their history, mention their managers, mention whatever you love about this company. Because when I interview people and I see that they don't know this basic stuff, my opinion is that maybe they're just applying to like whatever they see on the internet and this is not really the right person for us. Because people that stick with our company, they come really interested, they come really passionate about what we do. And this is what we're looking for. And I'm sure it's pretty much the same for other companies, especially if you're um, applying to a senior position where you have to be like really involved with whatever is going on with the mission strategy. So really, really research the subject, research the company that you're applying to. Then the interview will probably ask you about your strengths. And I know it's really tempting to say, oh, I am very disciplined. I'm a really good worker. I'm really responsible. I'm always on time, blah, blah, blah. Like all the general words, boring and proves nothing. If you want to say that you're goal oriented, then tell them that whenever you're set with a KPI, you exceed it by 20%. This is like a good example. Or if you want to say that you're responsible, then tell them, Hey, I had this project that I had to complete within a day, but normally it would take me like a week to complete such project. But I'm so responsible. I really wanted to impress my manager. I did it in 12 hours. And guess what? He was impressed with the results. Something like that. If you're applying for a marketing position, tell them that your lead costs 3x less than the market average. Like something that will prove that you're really strong. Like avoid those general words, forget about them. Now the next thing the interview is gonna move on to your weaknesses. And this is not time to talk about your personal stuff about like maybe how you like to sleep at night and how you hate to wake up at 9 a.m. This is something uh, about your professional weaknesses and don't tell that you don't have them. And I've heard that so many times like, oh, I'm perfect, I don't have any weaknesses. This is not true, everybody has a weakness and it's smart and uh, it's uh, very responsible to admit them. Okay, maybe I make a lot of spelling mistakes and normally if I do this job, I work with a copywriter and I already have a copywriter that I work with. Like this is a decent answer. Or maybe you could tell that, you know, you require upper intermediate English. My spoken English is upper intermediate, my, but my written English is uh, still intermediate, but I'm working on it really hard. I don't know, 10 hours a week, I'm taking private classes, I'm going on this trip to the US to language school to brush up my English. This is something uh, the adult would do. Like this is how you approach problems. If you have them, you admit them and you work on solving them. And your employer is gonna love that. Another thing that they might ask, they would ask you, um, have you done this, this and that? And like big chance that you haven't done it. But the right thing to say here is that, you know, I haven't done exactly what you've mentioned, but I've done a very similar project and I think what I've done there is really applicable to whatever you're talking about. Again, for me as an employer and for other employers, this would show that you're willing to go that extra mile to, you know, apply whatever you have to a new task, maybe do some more research, maybe educate yourself a little more. So we're always looking for passionate people who are going to go this extra mile. So really show during the interview that you're ready for challenges. Yes, you know, there will be tasks that you are not familiar with yet, but you know, you have all the skill set to, you know, go and handle them. One of the most common questions that you get during the interview is, how do you see yourself in one, five, 10 years? And uh, I know it's very confusing and you never know what's gonna happen in a week, but uh, it's good to show that you are very goal oriented. Like in five years, I want to manage this department. In five years, I see myself as a managing partner in this company because I really love it. This is a great answer. A bad answer is um, sometimes I ask people like, how do you see yourself in five years? And they will get back to me with, uh, with an answer. I see myself uh, married with three kids and I'm like, okay, and how is that? You know, uh, how, how would I be interested in that? How does that apply to the job that you're applying to? Like this is something that has to do with your personal life. And this is not really something you should mention during the interview. 
Uh, so this is all about the professional stuff. Another answer that I, well, this is honest and I appreciate honesty, but this is a red flag for me when somebody tells me that I'm actually looking to start my own company and uh, I wanted to work for you for like a couple of years, uh, get your experience and then go ahead and start my own. I'm like, uh, why would I invest in this person? Because whenever we hire somebody, we want to invest in their education. We want to invest in them so they would stay with the company and grow with us and not for them to go somewhere else and just, you know, uh, do their own thing. So yes, it's okay to be honest, but if you really want to get that job, I would avoid saying that you are willing to copy whatever the company is doing and just move on uh, by yourself. Next, why did you leave your previous job? And here um, I get a lot of feedback like I hated my manager. He's a crazy guy. I hated my colleagues who never got on with them. This is like a bad thing to say because I know that probably in a year you're going to be looking for another job and maybe telling bad things about me. So don't do that. You can talk about, um, you know, uh, opportunity to grow that wasn't there. Um, you can talk that the company was smaller and you were looking to work for a bigger company because you want uh, more workloads, something like that, okay? Finally, it's your turn to ask questions. And please don't tell that, oh, everything seems clear to me. That's it, thank you. Really use this opportunity. Ask about how the contract works. Ask about your colleagues. Ask about potential projects. Like show that you're interested. Show that you're already mentally working there. Like what are the questions if you are uh, supposed to start the next day? What would you ask? Like think about them before the interview. That was it from me, guys. Uh, the interview is gonna ask you a little more questions. If you're applying to Google, you're gonna have like seven interviews with seven different people that can ask you all kind of technical questions and stuff. This is like really basic stuff that any employer would ask you. So take my business English course, get ready for your next interview in English. I hope this video was useful for you guys. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed, hit the red button. If you like this content, I'm waiting for your likes and uh, the link is below. I'll see you very soon in the next vlogs.